Okay, this is July the 1st, 2010. I've got a new surprise here. Uh, you know how everybody's, how I've been talking about, I mean, uh, how I wish I had, the body on my truck was more solid. With all this work we've done with it, putting the whole Crown Vic front suspension, rear end, brakes, drivetrain, electrical, all that in it, um, and it drives so good now, it just still looks awful. So, a gentleman from Cleveland, Tennessee, who worked with a friend of mine, told me about a truck that his dad had, and he took it after, or just before he passed away and drove it for a while, and uh, parked it, and it was parked about 15 or something years ago. Most of the time it's been covered, but when we found it, it was sitting under some trees, and that's why it looks so filthy and all that kind of stuff right now. But, uh, it is a much more solid body than mine. It is a Ranger. Uh, 69 model, not a 67 like mine. It has a cargo light. Of course, all the goodies that a Ranger has, the trim at the bottom, and the door panels, carpet. The seat's in pretty good condition. The back seat's real good. The bottom, eh, not so much so. But look at this dash pad. Wow. I mean, the dash pad is immaculate. And the thing I like the most about it is the air condition. Yes, it has factory air on it. Wow. No more sweating in the cab of the truck anymore. Um, it has a radio in it that the guy that... Uh, I got from he is wanting it back so I'm in the process of taking that thing out but the cab is in pretty good shape especially very good shape compared to mine not hardly near the rust mine's got only a few areas I think can be pretty fairly uh, fixed fairly easily I think um, the hood's in a lot better shape than mine um, we have a spot right here Behind the fender, I think that could be fixed fairly easy. We got a spot right here in the top, which we can take a headliner out and sandblast that out and weld a piece of metal in behind that. Got the body shop fix that. Hopefully, I can scrape up enough money for the paint for this thing because even though it is a very straight body with very little rust, the most rusty part is the tailgate. Although the bed, the bed is in great shape, which it had a bunch of junk in it. I don't know how the bed come out to be as in good a shape as what it did, but man. If that thing had sat there much longer in the condition it in, it would not have been pretty. But the tailgate does have some rust issues. Now, my 67 has a tailgate in it. Not as much rust, but it's beat up more. So, I don't know what we'll do about that. Maybe, uh... My body guy have something ingenious to come up with on that. Uh, I think I said the cargo light. Um, 302 automatic power steering, uh, power brakes, what you expect with a Ranger. So, here's the game plan. We are going to um, set this cabin bed off my 67 that we uh, put the uh, all the, the goodies on. By the way, I had a hood issue the hood was rusted so bad on it flew up on me the other day and burnt the hinges uh, bent the hood so we had to set it off and just park it in the shop but all these modifications we've done to it we're just going to set the cab and bed off this one set the cab and bed off the 69 and we'll take all the electrical goodies that we installed in underneath the dash on this one but when we put it in the 69 we will do a much better job on making that steering column and Crown Vic gauge cluster look a lot better because I never did really get around to of course this thing looks like junk anyway so I never was all that uh, big on trying to get it to look that great you know because the truck didn't look that great anyway but I've learned a lot from this project and I think I've got some ideas of how to make it look much better in this cab so we can keep this beautiful Ranger Dash intact I kind of hate to get rid of the steering column and all because, uh, man, that's that's a good automatic power steering steering column. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that just yet. I'll do something with it. I'll either sell it or, um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, kind of hate to do much anything with it right now until I know what all I'm up against. But uh, i got to put the Crown Vic one in there because it works with the wiring harness. And plus, it keeps my cruise control working and, and all the other accessories, uh, the, the delayed windshield wipers and all that's tied into that column. So it'd be real difficult to make it work with this steering column um, in any shape, form, or fashion. 
too bad because I really like that steering column. That's a pretty steering wheel steering column. Still in good shape. So, like I said, we're going to trade out cabin beds. And um, we'll start that in the next month or so. Or next month and a half. School starts in a little over a month with the students coming back. And uh, the... Uh, probably won't start back in the shop till a few weeks after that. So, uh... And I think after we get done swapping the, the cabin bed, I'm going to take this cabin bed and put it on this chassis and maybe just make me a work truck. I don't know. Um, we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, that may be something later on after we get done with the, the other one. Take what parts we've got left over. It would be nice to have a, a work truck and a, a nice truck you drive every day and don't are not ashamed to be seen in seen in anyway um that's about all i've got for today um stay in touch we'll start probably getting really big into this in about a month or so uh and those of y'all keeping up with my vw fastback uh we'll be doing some work on that too hopefully here i've done some sandblasting uh day four yesterday so but I'll probably do a little update video later when I get the parts car. We're heading to vacation for the next week, so after I get back, maybe I can get the parts car for that. So anyway, I know those of y'all watch the Ford pickup pickup the Ford pickup videos don't care about the Volkswagen, and probably y'all that watch the Volkswagen don't care about the Ford pickup. But anyway, I like both, so get over it. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll keep in touch.